So I wanted to take a complicated illustration and make a repeatable, uh, seamless pattern to go behind this Captain Dead character here for an all-over print t-shirt. And I wasn't sure the best way to go about it at first, and I found a really cool way to work with this in Photoshop um, using smart objects and the offset filter. So I thought I, want, I could share that with you uh, real quick. Um, I wanted to take an image like this with lots of little illustrations and then find a way to make them into a seamless, uh, repeatable pattern like this. Okay, so we're in Photoshop here and the most important thing is that each of these characters has to be in their own layer group or on their own layer uh, with each of the other characters completely drawn underneath. Okay, the first thing we want to do is crop this image uh, just a little bit so that most of the illustrations are bleeding um, outside the edge. Uh, I think it's easier to keep it a square. Uh, it doesn't have to be a square though. Um, and the most important thing here is that you want to make sure that the delete cropped pixels option up top is unchecked. Otherwise you're going to lose all of that information outside of the trim line. Then you're going to want to take the image and move it back away from the edge for just a moment. The first thing you want to do is grab the illustration that you want uh, to start with and convert it to a smart object. This way any filter that you apply to this thing will be editable uh, forever, um, even after you save it and close the file. And open up uh, the filter menu and go to offset. And here in the offset menu is where the pattern making uh, really happens. Um, fiddling with these numbers and moving it around with the wrap around uh, option checked at the bottom is what will make the image repeat itself on all of the uh, sides of the pattern. And you can see here that it worked with that crunch berry, and we're going to move on to one of the other pieces and do the exact same thing. Here we see we just go through each group uh, one by one, you convert it to a smart object, you go to filter, other, offset, move it around so that the, uh, the edges are overlapping and repeating um, on the other sides to where you like, and you just do that one by one with each group and until you're done. What do you want to make sure when you're moving around the pieces is uh, you want them all to overlap the edge uh, by different amounts. So you want some to overlap the edge uh, completely in half um, and then others to just be overlapping the edge a little bit, like by 10% or so. Um, otherwise, if you make them all overlap the edge uh, about the same amount, you're going to get this like grid-like really uniform, nasty looking pattern um, and everyone will make fun of you. Alright, so now that I've got the main guys sort of laid out where I want them, um, I'm going to start copying and pasting some of the main ones, putting them in the background so that we can fill up some of the little holes that are left behind. So doing the same thing, um, moving it where I'd like it and then taking it a step back, converting it to a smart object, going to filter, other, 
offset and bumping them around. Um, and I, I, it looks like I got like four or five holes here that I need to fill, so I'm going to have to make copies of a bunch of these guys. And just doing the same thing again. Um, I'm going to flip some of these horizontally, that way they kind, they're copies, but they don't look like exact copies. So, moving it where I want it, then taking it a step back, filter, offset. Boom. And we're totally finished so the last step is just to select everything go into select all then go to edit define pattern and what this is going to do is allow us to save this image um, as a pattern that we can use um, in any other document so just like that we're going to name it and we're going to jump over here uh, it's a cat and dead here, and I'm going to put the pattern in the background, and I'm going to create a new adjustment layer, a pattern layer, and there you go, it pulls up the last pattern you saved by default. Um, you can scale this however you want. And the cool thing about having it as a, a pattern adjustment layer is that I can always go back to this and change the sizing of it or the positioning of it um, at any time. Here we go. Here I'll just open up a new document and show you. Here we go. We're going to fill the, the whole background this way. And you can see it's totally seamless. And now for my shameless plug, uh, you can buy this all over Captain Dead shirt at Rage On uh, or by visiting my shop at flylanddesigns.com. Thanks for watching.